final match of week three of the 2024 USL League One season takes us to Spokane, Washington, where the Velocity take on the Northern Colorado Hailstorm for the first ever time, trying to pick up their third win in a week after a win over Richmond for their first ever home game and a win in the Open Cup over local rivals Ballard FC. I'm Jack Edwards in the broadcast booth with you. Excited to share this one. The new head coach, new club, Spokane Velocity, coming in, Lee Weidman, his side getting their first two wins this week, coming in from Charleston Battery as an assistant these past two seasons. Born in Liverpool, he's trying to work his way up the pyramid and try and implement his new strategy, a new style on Spokane. And a big positive move for them was that win over Ballard on the midweek and scoring that goal late, late on was Andre Lewis. He'll get his first start for the club in the league this season. It's here today, playing for Hartford Athletic in 2022 and 23, trying to offer the experience they need as a 29-year-old in the heart of the pitch. He's a player to watch out for entering into this one. On the flip side, from Northern Colorado, they were in the same spot as Spokane about two years ago under Eamon Zayed, entering his third season, led into the playoffs for the first time in 2023, and won their first playoff game with a 4-1 win. They had some big offseason losses in Trevor Ammon and Arthur Rogers, trying to improve upon last season and improve this year and push themselves even further for some more titles well player they're getting back who didn't feature a ton in 2023 is Irvin Para led the club in goals in 2022 dealt with his battle with testicular cancer in 2023 beat cancer and he's back out on the field he scored in their match in the midweek against Tulsa Athletic able to get himself off the mark for 2024 should be a great one here today Excited to see where this one pans out between Spokane and Northern Colorado. Two teams facing off for the very first time out west. We'll see what 11s they bring out on the other side of this break. But from one Spokane stadium, it's going to be the Spokane Velocity taking on the Northern Colorado Hailstorm only on ESPN+. Plus. At Eastern Washington University, students and faculty work side by side to restore a lost prairie and decrease our carbon footprint. Composers are writing music to help us understand how salmon migrate. And urban and regional planning students partner with cities to gather the data they need to address homelessness. Interdisciplinary education that gets real about the real world. That's Eastern Washington University and you. Spokane Professional Men's Soccer is here. Don't miss the historic first season in one Spokane stadium. Your Spokane Velocity FC take on Northern Colorado Hailstorm FC on Saturday, March 23rd, and Central Valley Fuego FC on Saturday, April 27th. Get your tickets now. Spokane is the home to the highest level of professional women's soccer in the country. Spokane Zephyr FC will play at one Spokane Stadium this August. Get your season tickets now. The winds of change are blowing. Be a part of history with your Zephyr FC. Welcome back to One Spokane Stadium. Excited for this one, the second ever home match for the Spokane Velocity, trying to follow up on a 2-1 win over Richmond just seven days ago. First off, the lineup for our host, Spokane Velocity. Seven changes from the win over Ballard on Wednesday. Most notably, in goal, Carlos Marancio coming out. Still up top, Josh Dolan trying to lead the line, add to his goal total. Scored in that first ever goal for the match against Greenville. We'll see how the team ends up breaking out alongside him. Re-entering 11, Luis Keel wears the captain's arm. And while for Northern Colorado, some major limitations to their 11, they make just three changes from that match against Tulsa. Irvin Parra wearing the captain's armband, teaming up top with Jake Keegan. No wingers available. We'll get more into that in a moment, but Eamon Zayed, a very limited unit. That is their starting 11, entering this one in a 3-5-2 formation. The Dark Blues will be Northern Colorado. Excited to see how they fare out in this one. First win of the season 
against Tulsa this week. Had a bit of a wait since their last League One match. That one coming all the way back on March 9th, the first day of the season at Lexington. That was a nil-nil draw. Chances for both sides, but in the end, no one putting the ball in the back of the net. It was a good result for them, according to Eamon Zayed, able to get their first clean sheet of the season, trying to still be defensively hard to beat. While Spokane, an early week, early season defeat, was followed up upon by two wins this week, trying to make it three in seven days. Jake Keegan in the center circle, ready to get us underway. Whistle is gone. We are underway. Northern Colorado in the blues from left to right and the whites of Spokane from right to left. Jack Edwards here with you in the broadcast booth. Very excited for this one. The sails out of play. Be an early throw for the hosts. Again, talked about the Lack of options in the wing areas for Northern Colorado. On international duty today for Trinidad and Tobago, we're both Noah Powder as well as Real Gill. Both of them appearing off the bench in Trinidad and Tobago's 2-0 defeat to Canada, but neither of them available for today's match, of course. And we're coupled with some limitations fitness-wise for Jackson Dietrich, as well as Marky Hernandez, Billy King, who are only limited to the bench. It means that really there's no out-and-out -out winger in the starting lineup. We'll see how Eamon Zayed's able to balance his side as Para, a great first touch to try and turn. It's knocked away, rolls out, throw in given. Bruno Rendon was on the USL League One second team in 2023. You imagine his role in that right wing back role overlapping, going to be even more important. Lucky Oprah started as the left winger. And you see him on this near side, tossing this one back in. Long throw into the six. It's lofted up. Getting a foot to that was Colin Fernandez. Shot is blocked. First shot of the match. It'll spin to Oprah. And you can play that one back. Johnny Fenwick moves it back forward. Martinez, his switch of play. Garcia rolls it back. Rendon. Here's Lau La Delgado coming off clean sheet, last league match. Still waiting for their first goal of 2024 in the USL League One. Rendon brings it down, and he'll receive the return pass. Bruno Rendon on the overlap, early threat from him, earns his side a corner kick. Defended by Derek Waldeck, his second consecutive season with a new side in USL League One. Made 30 appearances for Knoxville last year in their first season in League One. Made the move out west trying to help Lee Weidman and company. Martinez. Corner into the box. Goes through everybody. Danny Robles gets to it. It's poked out. We'll do it all over again from the other side. Two corners in quick succession now for the visitors. Robles actually part of that side that won the USL League 2 with Ballard. Ballard, of course, playing against Spokane this past week. Martinez. Hurler into the box. Ahead has gotten to it. Garcia got under it. Off target. And the threats beginning to mount from Northern Colorado. David Garcia in his first season since coming over from North Carolina FC. Very adept at scoring against Northern Colorado. Scored two goals in the USL League One semifinals. Joining over in the offseason as North Carolina FC made the move to the championship. A promotion of sorts. He's trying to offer his experience as a side that was right up there and obviously went on to win the playoff title. Heel. He was part of the player shield side that won it for Union Omaha last year. Lewis. And 
It's in there, into the box. It's dangerous. Garcia left it, goes out of play, saying he didn't touch it. It was a bit risky to leave it, but in the end, turned out to be a wise move. After the ball on the overlap, Roman Metzener was nearly met in the box with a bit of threat. Flicked on by Rendon, it's cleared out. Marcelo Lage shuffling over to the left-hand side. Para can turn. He's trying to slide that one to his strike partner, Keegan. Robles, clever pass. You saw what was on, but it was blocked well. Robles feeling the effects of a challenge. Garcia to Rendon. He's back to his feet. Robles is. Here's Garcia again. Oprah. Keegan. Almost spun kindly again for Keegan. Was that a foul from behind? It was. Jake Keegan also coming over from one Knoxville, but he'll be on the opposite side against his former teammate. He's on loan. 33 years of age now. Very experienced forward. Poor pass right to Keegan. Para can slide it. Lucky Oprah, space in the box. Checks it back. Para. Over the goal, maybe slightly overplayed by Northern Colorado. But the best chance of the match so far falls the way of the hailstorm. Another look at this one. Oprah didn't take it first time, slides it back to Para and through a sea of white was trying to place it, put it over the goal. Captain extraordinarily experienced it putting the ball in the back of the net. Robles gets a toe to it, knocks it back, and Fenwick can complete the job to Delgado. Towering header. Here's Waldeck. Robles dives in, wins it well. They'll receive it from Breck Evans, fired to him. Oprah, he's got Keegan in support. May have tried to dribble it himself, but it was well tackled, well won. Ahmed Longmire able to get across. Fenwick, big challenge, had to get it right, and he did. Knocked out of play, throw in. Lewis. Wanted to run from Reedy, gives it to Waldeck. Reedy's in a bit of space in the box if they can find him. Heel slides it. Fernandez moves it, and they move it from left to right quickly. Metzenaire plays it. Marnie Smith. Waldeck. Nice bit of patience here. The shot is low. And Delgado comfortable in the end. Led the league in clean sheets in 2023. Part of a side they conceded the fewest goals in the league. Just 37 allowed across the 34 matches in the league. The regular season, that is. Rendon keeps it in play. One on one. Showing off his strength. Massive challenge. Referee will pull it back. Advantage was on, but it's in the end going to be called a foul against Pierre Reedy. It's 
23 years of age, Rendon is. Aaron Zayad called him one of the best physical talents in the League One. And you'll see it throughout this match, and you saw it right there, just the ability to blow by his opponents, beat Reedy to the, off the jump. Ended up drawing the free kick. They'll put some numbers forward, try and make life uncomfortable. See Danny Robles standing over it. It's a curler. It's scraped down. Heel got a foot to it as well. Oprah gets there. And he'll knock it back to Fenwick. Knotted down. Keegan gets a foot to it. Another challenge comes in, and it's one. Smith slows down his dribble. It's a good pass to find Lewis. He's in a bit of space. Doling, first touch. On the outside. Nice move. It's blocked down by Martinez, and it's hooked away. Parra taps it down. Intercepted, attempted by Northern Colorado. Slid all the way back to Marancio in goal. Making his third appearance in the league. Switch here. Too strong. Goes out of play. For Velocity fans, you can get match ready with the latest Velocity merchandise. You can shop online or in the team store at Davenport Grand Hotel in Spokane. Rendon, Para, taps it down to Martinez. It slid out wide, Keegan. Curler, that one just asking too much of Martinez, making the run from deep. You saw the option though. Spokane, we talked about it in the open. Andre Lewis scoring in the 97th minute against Ballard to avoid themselves an extra 30 minutes of work in that one as Oprah blocks the pass, gets there, wasn't fouled, was clean, says the referee. Head referee, Robert Vincenzo. It's moved out, right-hand side. Stood up, dangerous at the back post. The header is just wide. Pierre Reedy attacked it very well. The ball was really strong. Roman Metanair. Let's see it again. They move this one out to the right hand side extraordinarily well. Reedy had Rendon beat. But credit to Rendon. Got his body in a way that it made it uncomfortable for Reedy to try and put the header on goal. And of course, was unable to steer it on frame. Went wide. Garcia. Pass ends up curling towards the visiting Hailstorm bench. Waldeck tosses it back in in front of him. Well, Velocity fans, you can scan the QR code that will come up on your screen to get your single match tickets today. Of course playing in their second home match against Northern Colorado. Looking ahead, an open cup match at home against Los Angeles Force. A bit of a wait to the next match at home. It'll be in the cup, the League One Cup that is, against Fuego on April the 27th. A little over a month away from the next league match, but of course the league format changing slightly this year compared to years past. Foul committed. Smith brings down his opponent. Martinez is going to get back to his feet. And the implication is every coach and anybody you talk to in this league mentions the shift from 32 league games 
down to just 22. Eight matches guaranteed in the League Cup. It means that the standings for the playoffs will be decided based on 22 matches, 11 games, 11 teams that you'll play home and away. It means that every point matters. It's of the most vital importance. Look at Omaha last year. Their incredible run towards the back end of the season started almost 15, 16 games into the year. Rendon in the box, trying to drag that back. It sits up kindly. It's scuffed, but it sits up kindly for Para. The flag goes up. He's off sides. It was incredibly close. But Para had the ball in the back of the net, but the assistant referee waves it off. Another look at this. Hard to tell from the closer angle, but he looks mighty close to being onside. Looked to be Longmire was the player closest to him. Out of play to throw and actually might need a bit of treatment after that one came a bit quickly. Martinez feeling the effects of blocking that one. Takes one off the noggin. He'll need a quick breather. Former Madison man. You can scan the QR code to play now for your guarantee to win one of 20 unique participating Spokane and Coeur d'Alene local restaurant discounts. Thanks to our footballer fuel partners, Caruso's, Delion's Taco and Bar, The Burger Doc, Flat Stick Pub, TT's Barbecue, Jimmy John's, Casa Tap House, IHOP, and Steam Plant. Para wins the header. Martinez puts one for Rendon to chase to. Waldeck had to get it perfect, and he did. He'll put it right into his stride as well. Rendon out of position. Maybe a chance to move quickly. He'll give it to his left winger. Reedy drops of the shoulder. Big tackle to come over by Robles. They want the offside flag to go up, and it will, in fact. Luis Heel was offsides when he tried to receive that. Assistant referees playing a big role in this match already. Of course, Parra had the ball in the back of the net, but a judge to have been slightly offsides. Got a chance just a few moments ago. Garcia plays it. Great bit of control. Para gets across his opponent. Will win the free kick. Frustration from Colin Fernandez. But he's ruled for a foul. Fernandez, 32 appearances for Tulsa in 2023. Sporting KC, two before that. Austin Bold before that. Way back to the Coma Defiance in 2020. Some experience here in League One. Rendon brings it in with a good first touch. Langlois can't quite turn past his opponent, and it's a good ball. Reedy, been very active in these opening 20 minutes. Waldeck well, smartly will shift play now along the back line.
Waldeck aiming for Dolan. Garcia keeps it in play. He was fouled, though. Much to the frustration of the home crowd. Dolan ruled to have pulled down Garcia. Shifted out wide. Smith. Manzanero is making the run as well. Martinez, though, clever positioning. Manzanero. Powerful to the byline. Stands it up over everyone. He will run it down. We'll get it back from Waldeck. Reedy. Checks it back onto the right foot. Pokes it back out to heel. Aiming for Dolan, but asking too much of the forward. You can see Luis Heel getting heavily involved, though, in these opening moments. 40 appearances for Omaha over the past two seasons. Previous experience in a variety of places. Orlando City, Colorado Rapids, those being on loan. Headed down, Waldeck. Garcia wins the header. Dolan, heel, back to him. One touch passing, it gets to Reedy. Fernandez. Lewis, Smith back to Lewis. Metzenaire stretching things out wide to the right. 1-2, very well played. It's kicked off Smith. Will be a goal kick. But you can see the link-up play beginning to progress, beginning to grow into the game. Four shots for the visitors, two for the hosts. Windermeyer Foundation is thrilled to welcome our charity of the month. It's more than a home. It's a way to give back. Please visit our site at www.windermeyerfoundation.com. Delgado. Wants movement up the pitch. He'll give it to Garcia. Not a down. Para. I think right there. Don't want to be too judgmental, but you can kind of see the need to, the need that has existed for Northern Colorado to shift their plays around. Oprah moving up from a left back role. Typically, he plays to a left wing role. Breck Evans sliding out to play as the left back. A bit more defensive minded. Didn't make the overlap for Para there, and his ball will go out for a goal kick. You can see Parra kind of gesturing that he wanted maybe an option in front of him, but it's the player that usually would be making that streaking run up the left-hand side from left back on the overlap is now playing a bit further forward, and that knock-on effect all throughout the side. Northern Colorado hopeful to have full complement of options back soon. Of course, two players unavailable. In a more positive sense, back to that in a moment as Oprah gets it after winning it high up the field, fires it. That one almost snuck in. Lorencia was watching it. Dove to make sure that it didn't manage to sneak in, but lucky Oprah just popping something into the box. A bit of pace almost snuck all the way through in the end, goes out of play. Northern Colorado, of course, having two players feature in the match today for Trinidad and Tobago in the senior setup. It's good for the development of their players and the brand. But a challenge for today's selection as Luis Heel shows off his speed against Martinez. Did he bowl him over? He did. Will be a free kick. 25 minutes in. Martinez trying to reference maybe a 
precedent, past fouls called and not called. The captain for the hosts has won a free kick in a rather promising position. His right foot and Derek Waldbeck's left foot will both take a keen interest. Heel curls it in. Oh, right into a mix of players. Not sure it was touched. It's a goal kick in the end. That was really good delivery. And there were a lot of options that almost steered that one towards goal. Longmire, one of the players that got himself in the mix up front. He's heel, an extraordinary creator. A lot of pressure on Martinez. Four and white around. He'll roll it back to Delgado. Won't catch the ball forward entirely perfectly. Lorencio goes long. Rendon with the header. Martinez. Tosses one forward. Keegan there first. He'll do very well to track it down. Para first time into the box. It's cleared away. Oof. Big challenge by Martinez. And that will receive a talking to at the very least. I think he might be saying one more foul and you might be entering the book that one's certainly heavy on Colin Fernandez Dolan, big challenge from behind. Martinez, though, will foul him. Having a discussion with the referee now. Now, I said last foul that it felt like it was one more might lead to a booking, but I was lying. That one certainly had the vibe. Referee pointing to multiple fouls for Martinez. He avoids the yellow card again, but in the heart of the pitch, feels like he has just about, just about run out of leash in terms of tactical and other fouls to give before he receives his first caution. Now this is a promising position. Probably too far to try one direct, but Heel and Waldeck both in an interesting spot. Dolan is completely unmarked. Scooped across goal. Oh, just wide. Pierre Reedy, head in his hands. Textbook off the training ground. A golden opportunity, the best of the match within half an hour. He'll want that one back. Fantastic ball, dropped in by Waldeck. Scuffed, had three to choose from, went furthest to Reedy. Ahmed Longmire doing well to get that one across goal. Para chests it down, was he pulled back? He was, and a physical tussle with Longmire. He'll earn the free kick. No indication they want to try and set something up to deliver into the box. And we get play rolling again. Oh, 
that's an air. Introduced a bit of risk, trying to just take that one down first time, but he did very well. Ended up bouncing off a Hailstorm player, and he can throw it back. Longmire. Marancio. Waldeck, Reedy ahead, and Doan, or touch. Did that hit a hand? It may have, but the referee waves it away. Would have been harsh to give. Para, knocked down from behind, but it was a good tackle, says the referee. Lage, involved. Heavy touch. Kamarni Smith. Lofted back. Has to be very careful. Ooh, Oprah was taking a keen interest. Gets a foot through it. Knocks it forward. Robles keeps it rolling along. It's played forward. side, Waldeck. Good interplay. Metinair picks out heel in the box, goes down under the challenge. Referee points to the spot. Took a moment to think about it. And in the end, will book Garcia for his protests. Feel he got the ball. Referee saw otherwise. Biggest chance of the game will come up in a moment. Let's see what will cause it again. Heel takes a touch out. Doesn't get a ton of the ball. <laughs> Kicks it off his head for good measure. Moves the ball a bit to the side, but I think you can definitely understand the referee's perspective. Para, the captain, going to talk to the referee about it. Player who won it, Luis Heal, is the one who stands over it. You can also see Lalo Delgado wants to try and drag this one out as much as possible. Stopping the inevitable, he's going to get his glove adjusted, try and ice the taker. Delgado is ready. Heel is ready. Luis Heal from the spot. Buries it. Delgado guessed right, but the placement was great. He wins the penalty, he scores the penalty. And Spokane opened the scoring in the first half. Heavy challenge after his great touch sent him to the spot. Delgado guessed right. Just couldn't get the right hand to it. Heal some power. 
Delgado punching the post in frustration. That's his first for Spokane. They brought him in to try and offer some experience. Try and pull the strings. Try and lead this side in their first season. And he's ticking all those boxes right now. Goal and an assist now across three matches in League One. And how does Northern Colorado respond? Concede their first goal of the league season. They trailed for the first time in 2024 against Tulsa. They took a 4-0 lead. And they conceded a... Pretty spectacular free kick. Oh, that's long. Para got ahead to it. In no man's land was Marancio, but Para just couldn't get enough purchase on it to put it towards goal. But that one, almost out of nothing, brought us back level. <laughs> Look at this one. Long one forward. Looked like Fenwick who took it. Not a ton of communication there between Lage and Marancio. Marancio coming to get it, but Lage not doing a great job to hold off Para to support that choice. That would have been a, the textbook perfect response. Falling to the ground, Garcia holding his face. Doling is going to be booked. You can hear how the home crowd feels about that decision. Garcia on the ground feeling the effects. Again, Garcia was booked not for conceding the penalty. That was Johnny Fenwick from Northern Colorado who conceded it. He was booked for dissent, his immediate reaction after the penalty was given. First goal for Luis Heal since September 30th of last year. Challenging, Mentenaire. Robles joining him, and he does a great job to pick his pocket. Mentenaire staying with it. It goes out, throw in. The press paying off for the hailstorm. Final few minutes of this first half. Para will try slinging one in. Long throw. Garcia nods down the header. The delivery on the long throw was really good. Garcia was on hand. His header, though, just wide. Couldn't tell if it was an attempt on goal or trying to flick it on to a teammate. The threat was certainly there, just off target. Knocked forward. Garcia lets it run. Delgado. Oprah gets a foot to make it uncomfortable. Waldeck will keep it in play. Martinez shields off Dolan. Martinez, good pass, picks out Oprah. Rendon. You see, Oprah has moved from left to right. Robles trying to turn. Gives it back. Rendon pokes it. Oprah. He just clips us to the back post. Tall header. Metzener gets there, and now a chance to break. Smith, great work getting it out of his feet. Big challenge by Fenwick. Got it right. Now Robles. Asking too much of Oprah to drive forward. The match opening up in these last few minutes of the first half.
Dolan slides this one. Metinair. Lewis making the run forward. He'll receive it. Dolan gives it back. Andre Lewis. Keel. Hope to pass the challenge of Robles. It's now back to Fernandez. Trying to find heel, but Martinez came across it. One for Keegan to chase. That one just trickled outside the box, forcing Marancio to put a foot through it rather than pick it up. Goes out for a throw. It's up for Keegan. Oprah. Rendon. Oprah. Evans. Oprah. Rendon. Whips one in. Dangerous delivery. Headed clear. Smith gets there. Evans puts a foot in. Could see the throw. It has been a very positive response since conceding from Northern Colorado. Gotten themselves a bit more into the match. They've actually taken more shots than their opponent. Garcia forward. Metzenaire returns it where it came from. Great bit of strength to hold off two opponents. Rencio clearly wanted to come, but it spun awkwardly away from him. Rendon, did he foul? Yes, he did. Referee didn't feel there was an advantage to give. Mentioned the shots. Six to four. Currently, Northern Colorado leads in the number, but still yet to test Marancio in goal with a shot on target. Closest they came was an Irvin Para shot. Inside the 18 with his right foot, also with his head. Been very involved. Over the top. Delgado. There was a keen interest taken by Kamarni Smith. Foul committed. Free kick going the way of Northern Colorado. Well, hey fans, welcome to the 2024 USL kickoff presented by Terminix. Throughout the month of March, the USL will be kicking off across the country. You can join us for all the action on ESPN and CBS sports platforms. Fenwick. Waldeck gets ahead to it. Calmly done. Oprah challenge from behind. Illegally done so. Foul committed. Rendon wins the header, not out of play. Final minute of regulation, stoppage time to come. Coming up at halftime, we've got highlights from week two as well as scores from around the country as we round out our Saturday of USL League One action. Heel brings it down, can't back heel it back to Doling. Oprah keeps it in play, but at the expense of conceding possession. Reedy, strong strength. Waldeck wins the throw as well. Also we'll have highlights from his first half 
Currently a Luis heel penalty, the one that has separated these sides. An opportunity for a second consecutive home win for Spokane. Try and stay perfect in front of their fans. <laughs> Applause after Lee Vibin brought that one down. Four minutes of added time after that first 45. Heel slides it. Lewis, Metaner, offering the option, puts it in. Headed away by Evans. Para is touched down. It's poked away. Metaner from a similar spot put a cross in week ago against Richmond and it actually ended up looping in to the goal itself credited for the goal maybe it was intended as a cross but it turned out to be a fantastic shot in the end that opened the scoring they saw it a gutsy 2-1 win and against Ballard in the midweek in the Open Cup it's the League Two side who Mentioned Robles was part of the team that won the 2023 USL League 2. Not a ton of carryover, obviously, from that group to this one. But still, very impressive to dig deep against a side who made things uncomfortable. Delgado, maybe a moment of panic as that pass for Garcia wasn't quite on. Fenwick fires it. Evans keeps it in play. Trying to clip one to Para. His flick on finds Keegan. Trying to roll it off to Martinez and actually he'll win a foul. He wanted Parr to keep his run going, but just couldn't quite link up. It was a very, very late winner. It's a break the hearts of Ballard by Andre Lewis for his first, for his new side. More comfortable for Northern Colorado. Late first half goal by Lucky Oprah from a corner kick in the 43rd minute. Opened the onslaught. Para followed up. Marky Hernandez did as well in the second half, as well as the first goal professionally for Ethan Horde. He's on the bench now, the six foot five forward. Coming out of UC Davis for college. So it's a throw in for Northern Colorado. It was a late consolation goal from a free kick. But in the end, four goals. They got themselves through in the Open Cup. They'll take on Colorado Rapids, too, on the road on April 3rd. On April 3rd as well, Spokane will host Los Angeles Force. Try and both sides advance themselves to the third round of the Open Cup. Oh, then Colorado actually lost to Colorado Rapids themselves in 2023 in the Open Cup. It's flicked towards goal, headed away. Of course, this year... First year as a club for Spokane. First year in the Open Cup. A lot of firsts for the velocity. Marancio. Tall header, Para challenging as well. This one just knocked forward. Garcia, touchdown, and ends up with Delgado. Sprinting in was Kamarni Smith, trying to make life difficult. Fenwick back to Evans. Robles pokes it, Martinez turns. That pass intercepted. Turnover late in the first half. Maybe one last chance. Martinez does very well to track over, block it, and see this out to half time. First 45 minutes in the books. Spokane earning themselves a penalty kick. Dispatched by Luis Heel to make things at the break. One goal to nil. Currently on track for back-to-back -back wins at home and three wins in a week. We'll see what both teams will try and do at halftime. The Hailstorm with work to do 
try and score their first goal in the league of 2024. But at the break, Spokane won Northern Colorado nil. Other side of this break, we'll have some highlights from week two. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a moment. It's true that a Windermere agent's client decided to experiment with power washing their deck a day before the house was supposed to go on the market. It's true that he may have accidentally destroyed said deck. Now, you might wonder, how did that deck get torn out, replaced, and stained in one day? In time for the listing to go live the next morning? We'll never tell. At Eastern Washington University, students and faculty work side by side to restore a lost prairie and decrease our carbon footprint. Composers are writing music to help us understand how salmon migrate. And urban and regional planning students partner with cities to gather the data they need to address homelessness. Interdisciplinary education that gets real about the real world. That's Eastern Washington University and you. Spokane Professional Men's Soccer is here. Don't miss the historic first season in one Spokane stadium. Your Spokane Velocity FC take on Northern Colorado Hailstorm FC on Saturday, March 23rd, and Central Valley Fuego FC on Saturday, April 27th. Get your tickets now. Spokane is the home to the highest level of professional women's soccer in the country. Spokane Zephyr FC will play at one Spokane Stadium this August. Get your season tickets now. The winds of change are blowing. Be a part of history with your Zephyr FC. Welcome back to One Spokane Stadium. We're at the break. Spokane Velocity 1, Northern Colorado Hailstorm nil. Been a good first 45 minutes. We'll talk more about that throughout halftime. But first, let's flash back to week two. Take a look at some highlights from last weekend. Starting off on Friday, Lexington taking on the Chattanooga Red Wolves. An opportunity here. It's going to sit up incredibly kindly for Yannick Yankum. Able to make it his first goal in his new colors. Makes it 1-0. That match would finish 1-0. The first win. Another clean sheet for Lexington. A chance for Chattanooga late on. And that was one of the agonizingly twice off the crossbar. In the end, could not get that one across goal. Lexington stays strong at home, and they win that one. One goal to We mentioned it. The bit of a fluke goal from Mentonaire, but he'll take all the credit in the world for it. Makes things one goal to know just four minutes into their home debut. They followed up with another one. Another set piece situation whipped in. Just an incredible header. Ahmed Longmire able to get highest to it, not it back across. That's 15 minutes into the game. Now we're 20 minutes into the game. Another restart situation. Long ball in. It pinballs around. Aaron Bill, Adrian Billhart rather, able to knock it home. That was 20 minutes in. It finishes 2-1. Spokane, their first three points at home. Now the Independents taking on Knoxville at home. A fantastic goal. Outright by Frank Ross, buries that one in the top right corner. Then a very special moment, corner kick into the box. It's going to sit up incredibly kindly here. A bit of chaos in front of goal, but Clay Dimmick able to knock it home. Big moment for him on his return as the captain. Just a few moments later, though, they would respond one Knoxville would. Clipped up, Angelo Kelly Rosales, textbook header from him, able to nod that one into the goal. That made it 2-1, and they saw it out. Charlotte 1, Knoxville 2. Now... Tormenta forward Madison at Tormenta. This one was set up for Devin Boyce, and he just lasers that one home. It would be an extraordinarily, extraordinarily late response. 96th minute, scraping that one home was Niall Watson. Makes that 1-1. He gets a point for his side at home. And then Fuego taking on Omaha in Fuego. The Jermaine Jones era getting off at home. Blake Malone scrapes home that one off a corner kick into the bottom right corner. Then they would make that one two goals to nil. Cut into the box, Dolabella, it stood up. Dos Santos keeps it alive and just tapped into the goal for his first goal for his new side, Aaron Gomez. There would later be a goal from Siobhan John Brown, but it would finish Fuego 1 and 2 for Union Omaha. A fantastic weekend last week 
in week two. We've got week three rounding out here today. It's going to be interesting to see what both sides do heading into the second 45 minutes. About the break, of course, in Spokane 1, Northern Colorado nil. On the other side, some more about some season changes as well as some news and notes from across the league. We'll be back in a moment after this break. When termites show up, so do we. Terminix it. When I work to the hearse, you know the drill. It's like I went on a hike, cause you, I'm king of the hill. They say I don't know, it's still can't touch me, don't want to it. We all have goals. But let's be honest. Most of us aren't going to be professional athletes. But if your goal is to finish your degree, we can help. To a university that puts your goals first. Bellevue University, your partner in finishing goals. Termites show up? So do we. Terminix it. introduce a new in-season cup competition built on regional rivalries and added dimensions to the game itself. Like cups around the world, this new tournament will consist of group play and a knockout round. The three groups of four will consist of the East group, Charlotte, Greenville, Richmond, and Tormenta. The Central group, Chattanooga, Knoxville, Lexington, and Madison. The West Group, Central Valley, Northern Colorado, Omaha, and Spokane. The clubs will play a home and away round robin within their group. Then they will play two matches, one home and one away, against two different teams from another group. In total, each club will play eight matches in group action. The top team in each group will advance to the semifinals joined by the non-group leader with the most goals scored. This innovation will encourage more attacking and entertaining play. That's not the only fun adjustment. If a group stage game finishes tied at the end of regulation time, a penalty kick shootout will take place with an extra point in the standings on the line. The cup will evolve and grow over the next few years, bringing more drama and more memories for all. News and notes from across USL League 1. 11 sides advancing to the second round. That round will take place between April 2nd and 3rd. Excited for that one to come up. And, of course, coming up, the first nationally covered game on CBS. It will be Indy 11 taking on Louisville City FC. And the player of the week, you saw his header just a moment ago, Angelo Kelly Rosales, the winner, late on, earns himself League 1 team of the week honors and you can see the coach of the week top left of your screen lee weidman after getting that win for his side 
part of that group. Ahmed Longmire as well as Roman Mentenaire also getting into the group from Spo Can. It was a great week for them, of course, able to get themselves their first win at home. That is your team of the week back from week two. We can look at the schedule as well from across the country. It's been an interesting day here today. 3-1 win for Tormenta, 2-0 win for Knoxville. Been a great start to the year for them and full-time a nil nil draw between Greenville Triumph and Forward Madison. Look ahead, you'll see some matches for Spokane against Charlotte, Lexington and Greenville, and Fuego taking on Forward Madison. All those games still to come. We're excited for this one, though. On the other side of this break, first half highlights and stats in the second half between Spokane and Northern Colorado. Composers are writing music to help us understand how salmon migrate. And urban and regional planning students partner with cities to gather the data they need to address homelessness. Interdisciplinary education that gets real about the real world. That's Eastern Washington University and you. Spokane is the home to the highest level of professional women's soccer in the country. Spokane Zephyr FC will play at one Spokane Stadium this August. Get your season tickets now. The winds of change are blowing. Be a part of history with your Zephyr FC. Spokane Professional Men's Soccer is here. Don't miss the historic first season in one Spokane Stadium. Your Spokane Velocity FC take on Northern Colorado Hailstorm FC on Saturday, March 23rd, and Central Valley Fuego FC on Saturday, April 27th. Get your tickets now. It's true that a Windermere agent's client decided to experiment with power washing their deck a day before the house was supposed to go on the market. It's true that he may have accidentally destroyed said deck. Now, you might wonder, how did that deck get torn out, replaced, and stained in one day? In time for the listing to go live the next morning? We'll never tell. Welcome back. First half highlights. Spokane, Northern Colorado. Jack Edwards with you. Great chance here. Northern Parr just spoons this one over a little bit. Maybe overplayed just a hair. Dangerous ball in. Pierre Redians hacking that one. His header narrowly going wide of the goal. This one whipped into the box. Also a great chance. Pierre Reedy wants that one back. Great work to just drag it across the box. Getting his foot to it was Longmire. But the penalty, the most important moment of the match, Luis Heel won it. And he takes it and he scores it. Beats it past Lalo Delgado. Makes it one goal to nil. That is how we're separated here. We almost an immediate response. Fenwick the long ball to the top. Para attacks it incredibly well. His bravery and courage, one of the biggest attributes for him as a player. You saw it there, and you'll see it again, just getting his head to it and trying to put it towards goal. Players back out on the field. Fantastic match so far. Just up to share some stats. Four shots for the hosts. Seven shots for the visitors. Two on frame, one of those being the penalty scored by Heel, who you see on your screen right now. 1.4 XG for Spokane, a lot of that coming from the penalty by Heel. 0.7 for Northern Colorado, quite strong. And they're already beating their total against Lexington, just had 0.49 XG in that match. Already been more creative. Really excited for the second 45 minutes here. Spokane trying to see this one out. You saw in the highlights, they took a 2-0 lead, then conceded in the 20th minute. It was 2-1. They led that match for the bulk of it. Saw things out, got the win. You see Marky Hernandez coming onto your screen. He's coming onto the pitch here, and it's lucky Oprah, the player, will be making way. You see that in the top left of your screen, the substitution confirmed. Marky Hernandez on. Lucky Oprah playing at the left wing role. Also shifted to right wing a little bit as well today. He'll be coming off. Naturally a defender. Played a big role in that match. 
the midweek against Tulsa. And Marky Hernandez not fully fit for a full 90, but they'll hope that he can have an impact off the bench much like he did in the midweek. Heel gets his back underway. In white from left to right, Spokane. In the dark blues from right to left, Northern Colorado. That official, Robert Vincenz. Martinez brings it down, plays this one over the top. Immediate ball in. Keegan puts out in front of him. It's saved. Massive moment within 30 seconds. Marancio able to get a hand to it. Maybe would have been off target. He took no risks. Jake Keegan, a fantastic run on the feed from Isidro Martinez. Martinez will take this corner. Martinez whips it in. Header over goal. Rendon got ahead to it, but it went just over. You can see it again. The ball in by Martinez. Rendon did quite well to get himself highest for that, doing with his opposing right back. Better look at this one. Strong start, two shots in the opening. Have a lot of the jersey of Metzenaire, but they're back again on the ascendancy. Langlois gets a foot to it. Kept it in play. Robles going to try and make life difficult. Rendon, it's a poor touch. Northern Colorado coming out of the gates incredibly positively. Garcia. Keegan has it poked away. Smith finds Lewis. Dolan has it taken away. It's well defended by Garcia. Rendon slides it back. Martinez, clever ball, got it to Hernandez. Play this, this one to Keegan. He's got Para with him. He'll put it out in front of Irvin Para. One on one. Metzenaer, they've got it tangled a bit, but he will do well to earn his side the corner kick. Martinez over to take. He'll curl it in. It hit a Northern Colorado head. Maybe Garcia got something to it. It's scraped away. Now Smith. Marky Hernandez powering back to make himself present. Lewis. Hernandez back to Lewis. Waldeck, clever pass between opposing players, continues his run. Waldeck off the left-hand side, causing a lot of trouble. Reedy back, Colin Fernandez. It'll find Para. What a ball from Keegan. Para chasing, just too heavy. Waldeck was alert to it. Big challenge from Para as well. Concedes a goal kick. But you saw the idea there from Keegan trying to shape that one. Had the right idea, almost came off. First five minutes, very positive for the Hailstorm. But obviously still looking for the most important part of the match, that equalizing goal. No whistle. Lewis. Dropping between the center backs to receive the ball. Metzenaire. 
Longmire. That will be a foul. Martinez holding his face. Lewis, a judge who have used his hands in an illegal manner. I'll have a quick talking to with the referee. Let's see it again. So Lewis. Yeah, definitely touches him in the face a little bit. Not massive contact, but certainly enough to cause some discomfort. Martinez maximizing it and earns his side the free kick. Very well done from him to be combative in the midfield. Marky Hernandez commits the foul, goes to the back of his opponent. It's a free kick now for Spokane. Well, Select is the official match ball supplier of the USL Championship and many elite leagues throughout Europe, including the USL League One. Visit us.select-sport.com for the latest Select products, specials, and more. Select, it's the player's choice. Evans, his pass will find Para. Keegan, switches on, Hernandez, nods it down, Rendon, just too far in front of him, see the idea, Martinez, good first time ball, Marky Hernandez, gets his opposing number, got a bit of space, it'll spin kindly, Langlois, Played to feet for Robles, but he wanted it played in behind. Slight miscommunication. Keegan trying to press. Lewis plays through it. Metzener. Well weighted pass. On the left foot. The curler. Down the throat of Delgado. Left footed effort from Smith was dangerous. It was on frame. Goes quick. Keegan trying to challenge for it. Metzenaer does very well to play through it. Finds Lewis. He can cushion it down. He'll receive it again. Box, dangerous, just across, scraped forward. Hernandez trying to drop his shoulder, he pokes it up. Para gets there, knocked out of play. For Velocity fans, you can get match ready with the latest Velocity merchandise. Shop online or in the team store at the Davenport Grand Hotel in Spokane. Been exciting seeing the opening days, weeks, months of Spokane, talking to Lee Weidman, very appreciative of the support staff that's come in, the people around the club, helping make the transition very smooth, coming in from Charleston, very strong 2023 for him as an assistant, able to come in and slowly begin integrating new ideas and developing the new style of play, all the way from on the pitch, training every element of the club. Hernandez plays the one-two, Langlois will challenge. It's a good, strong tackle. Hernandez goes down under the challenge. Referee waves it off. Nothing given. Doling couldn't keep it with his feet. It'll be a throw in for his side. Stats back up that the opening match against Greenville may have swung a bit unfortunately in their favor. They felt good about the performance. Fell 3-1 on the road. You look at the stats, though. 1.8 expected goals for Spokane, just 0.9 for Greenville. Showing maybe a bit of their League One experience and getting the gutsy result the Triumph did. They learned quickly against Richmond. They were the side who had less expected of them in terms of XG, but 
able to put two past them. I think a big factor in that is when you have a cross by Roman Mentenaire kind of just loop itself in. That's not a very high expected chance, but maybe a bit of home cooking. Into the box. Headed away. Try to be flicked on by heel, but Martinez will come across. You can see how both sides are setting themselves up tactically with this wider vantage point. Four pressing in that 4-2-3-1 shape. Double pivot for Spokane. With the sub at halftime, Oprah coming off for Hernandez, a more like, more natural attacking than minded player. Para. Beginning to fully get his fitness back under him. It was a challenging 2023 for him. But he met it personally and totally exceeded it to get back to the field. Scored in that regular season finale. Pass there too heavy from Langlois. Out for a goal kick. We'll scan the QR code now on your screen to be able to play it now for your guarantee to win one of 20 unique participating Spokane and Coeur d'Alene local restaurant discounts. We thank our football or fuel partners, Caruso's, Delion's Taco and Bar, The Burger Dock, Flat Stick Pub, TT's Barbecue, Jimmy John's, Casa Tap House, IHOP, and Steam Plant. They play through the press well. Heel, Metzenaire. Tries this one. You can see the idea. Metzenaire very dangerous with his passing. That wand of a right foot, slightly overdone, and Delgado off his line to make the save. Fenwick plays it to Evans. Hara pokes it down. Keegan. Fouls his opponent from behind. Going to the back of Metzenaire. That one's slightly under hit. Para took an obvious interest in it. Doling nods it on. Martinez down. Played forward. Waldeck picks out a teammate, trying to back heel it to Dolan. You saw the idea. Smith, it was challenging to try and dig that one out of his feet. Big challenge. Metzenaire wins it back. Robles trying to win it back for his side after he had it taken off of him. Played into the channel. Metzenaire gets there. Delgado is aggressive. Claims it. About an hour into the match, there's been chances for both sides. Biggest, of course, falling Spokane's way. The penalty. Heel able to dispatch it separates things as we stand. Garcia, Rendon, aiming longer. Para in the area, he'll get a foot to it. He'll spin just too heavy, goes out of play. Well, a new era of USL kicks off here in April. You can join us on Saturday, April 6th on CBS as Lou City takes on Indy 11 at 4 p.m. Eastern at Lynn Family Stadium in Louisville.
kicking off the first ever national broadcast of the USL on CBS Networks. Excited for that one to come up two weekends from now. Enoch Kwakwa will be coming onto the pitch now for Northern Colorado. Coming off Patrick Langlois. Langlois struggling to fully implement his influence onto the game in that first 60 minutes. Let's see what Kwakwa can do. Slightly limited due to fitness issues to start the season. But beginning to get him back into full swing. Started the match against Tulsa Athletic. Dolan's touch just too heavy, as was Rendon's. Andre Lewis being rewarded with a second consecutive start after starting midweek game, scoring the winner. He looked very tidy in possession, middle of the field. It's Fernandez. Reedy. Heel, Mets in air. Stands it up. Fenwick gets ahead to it, but it's still with Spokane in the 18. Mets in air, trying to just power this one forward. Smith, Fernandez. We'll try and switch the point of attack. It's Waldeck. back. Velocity fans, scan that QR code to get your single match tickets today. It pops up on the screen. Some exciting matches coming up. You saw during halftime the changes to the League Cup. It means that these sides will face each other a total four times this season, guaranteed. Could be more based on how the playoffs League Cup end up shaking out. Rendon. Whipped in, it's flicked on. It sits up. Marky Hernandez puts that one wide of frame. Able to generate the space for himself to pop a shot off. Just can't quite get that one on frame. Northern Colorado continuing to knock on the door. That's a poor pass. I think there may have been a miscommunication there. Laj just left it. Rolled out of play. I think Parra will take an interest in the long throw. They got a David Garcia header inside the 18 off the last long throw in the first half. Let's see what this one has in store for us. Tossed in. <laughs> Almost gets stepped on by Rendon. Hacked away, Kwakwa fires it, Para takes a deflection, makes life uncomfortable. That's going to be a corner kick. Going to get that was Marancio. Robles is feeling the effects. It's a corner kick in the end. Had to be brave. There were questions, and there were some half-hearted appeals from those in blue about maybe a potential going through the back of Robles, a penalty. Referee didn't see it that way. Idaho Central Credit Union corner kick coming up here for Martinez. It's whipped in. Garcia on frame. It's caught. Marancio able to see that one into his hands. Seeking his first clean sheet with Spokane in the league. Peter 
Swinkles started the match against Ballard where they saw the clean sheet. That's a foul. Marancio played with Rio Grande Valley last year. Year before with Tucson in League One. Year before that, Hartford Athletic and a stint prior to that as well again with Tucson making his pro debut. Has some experience across both the League One and Championship. Header there was flicked on. Calm in the end. Let's it just hit him on the head. Bounce back to his goalkeeper. Quaqua. Just slides that one to the feet of Martinez. Evans. Para. Dropping deep to get it is Martinez. Quaqua gives it back. Fenwick, Hara. He's dropping deep similarly to Martinez. Out of play. That one floating out before Rendon could save it will be a throw in. Yeah, Reedy coming out of the match. A pair of players can come on. See him on your screen, Jack Denton. As well as Elijah Amadin. Fernandez making way for Denton. Good touch. Opportunity right after the subs. Metzenaire. Lot in white with him. Plays it. Doling. Slides it back. Metzenaire. He's going to shuffle him back as well, trying to just keep possession. Knocked forward, Para. He's trying to bring it down. Heel will do very well under a bit of pressure. Metzenaire. Surely a foul by Kwaku, it is indeed. Coming to the back of Heel. Just moving that one out of his feet, and you saw Kwakwa step late. Easy foul call for our head official. To his credit, I feel like he's done a very good job controlling this match. Hasn't boiled over it really at any points. The big call, I think he got correct. Luis Heal brought down by Johnny Fenwick in the box. Pointed to the spot. Fenwick got a bit of the ball, but 
did kind of go in a bit too aggressively in the box. And I think if I mean, if you are of a Northern Colorado persuasion, you definitely didn't give yourself it's Benwick holding his head. We'll get some treatment after a clash of heads with heel, just to close the penalty of this course. Definitely didn't cover yourself in glory, and you open up too many questions when you go in that aggressively. Here is the coming together of heads. You see Heel and Fenwick challenging for it, edge of the box, just challenging one for Fenwick. Allow both teams a small breather. Get some water. See what Northern Colorado has left in them. It's a very positive start out of the break. We have limited chances in the second 45 minutes for Spokane to a few small bursts on the break. So hope that Fenwick doesn't have a major issue here. No like for like center back on the bench. Would have to probably shift Evans from left back back to center back where he typically plays bring on someone to play in that left back spot McCain Clark played it right back last time out so does 19 years of age an option but not necessarily a natural left back of course lucky Oprah came off at halftime after starting at left wing because of the limitations in terms of the attacking personnel on hand for Northern Colorado both Noah Powder as well as Real Gill, both featuring for Trinidad and Tobago today. Meant that the squad was just a bit thinner. Not a very deep in terms of numbers squad for Northern Colorado. Just those two guys in international duty alone brought it down to 18 players available for selection. They have all been brought. Ethan Horde, Billy King, Destan Norman, McCain Clark, as well as Russell Shealy in goal. The options off the bench for the Hailstorm. Fenwick back moving around, though. Very positive sign to see there. It appears that he's comfortable enough to come back into the game. I believe Dolan will back off, actually. We'll see who will get possession after this. Billy King coming on as well as Ethan Horde. Para coming off, as was Martinez. So Horde at six foot five, physical presence. You see King bottom of your screen, Horde paired with Keegan. Hernandez far side, more of a 4-4-2 shape now. Quaqua and Robles midfield two. Of course, Fenwick still off the pitch, getting a bit of treatment. We'll see when he can come back on, make us 11 v 11 again. Attacking with the advantage. Slid back. Denton will get it back. Metzenaire made a run. Go for the conservative option next to him. Horde immediately trying to get involved on the press. Metzenaire. Receive the return pass in the box. Metzenaire. Quaqua. Alert defending by him. Get a, got across his opponent. Shepherded it out of play. Goal kick given. If you can't watch the match, you can turn on Sirius XM FC 157, which is North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk, including USL All Access on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Plus, you can hear live matches from the USL, MLS, Premier League, and more, all on Sirius XM FC 157 and the new Sirius XM app. King brings it into stride. Quaqua, man pressing him from behind, but he evades him with a drop of the shoulder. Garcia, Hernandez. 
15 minutes to try and find a goal to save a point. Avoid the first defeat of 2024 for Northern Colorado. It's a very strong preseason for them. We haven't seen a result so far to this side of the new year that has been a result. Four, five, four out of five wins in the preseason. Under hit slightly, Rendon. Fouled. Pressure will dissipate after Rendon was fouled. Actually, that will be a yellow card here for Smith. Looks like it might have been for some dissent. Just a disagreement with how he saw that, according to the referee. Evans got a foot to it, Keegan. Now Evans. King. Puts it between the legs of his defender. Billy King, two in the box to pick out. Stands it up, but doesn't catch it right. It goes out of play for a goal kick. Really interesting dichotomy of options in the box. You have the six foot five, 22 year old Ethan Horde. And then the five foot five, Marky Hernandez. Harkens back to an older time of the game when you would just toss one big striker up and let's have someone play off of him. Not sure it would always be quite as big a difference as 6-5 and 5-5, but Horde and Hernandez have a chance to try and make a nice tandem. As we enter the final minutes, Horde trying to be a physical presence. Robles gets ahead to it. Metanair. enough it's knocked forward Fenwick who is back out on the field by the way happened a few moments ago so it's 11 v 11 kept in play Kwakwa and it was poked out by Metanair another throw long throw Horde Gonna stay in play. That's a fantastic touch to keep that alive for King. King has it kicked off of him, but he able to move it to Garcia and he'll receive it again. Billy King. Clever delivery. It's knotted up. Flicked down. Horde control. No fouls to the referee. Horde. You can see just the physical presence he offers. He's calling for it on the left side. Garcia may have seen him. Goes shorter. Rendon back to Garcia. Fenwick picks out King. Evans. It's blocked. Metanair. Studious defensively, it'll spin kindly. Smith. Quaqua comes across though, helps out defensively. His head coach, Lee Weidman, offering words of encouragement for Smith. You can see them begin to sit in though. That being Spokane, Hernandez, aiming for Horde. It sits up. Keegan in the box. Goes down. Back to his feet quickly to try and win it back. Waldeck. Non-stop pressure from Northern Colorado. Can they pay it off? Hernandez. Back to Rendon. Hernandez. He whips this one in, and it's well claimed. Marancio can fall to the ground and try and take away some more time off this clock.
Just a flashback to the yellow card given to Kamarni Smith. Reason given was time wasting. Just to put a bow on that. Clarity purposes. Garcia nods it down. Hernandez. Evans. Let it run away from him. To throw in. Josh Dolan will come out of the game in this place. Javier Martin Heal. That one, just a complete indicator of where this match is heading. Bring off your striker for a player listed as a defender. Heal coming out of Missouri Valley State. to 2023 there was all MVC first team back in 2022 second team in 2023 previously playing at Ohio Valley University from 2019 to 2020 making his third appearance in League One heel that being Luis heel gets a foot to it Out of play. Assistant referee on the far side saying that one went out. <laughs> you can see Lewis doing his best to avoid getting punished for any time wasting. Rendon fires it. Fenwick. His pass a bit under hit. It's knocked out of play. The defensive subs are playing in attacking roles, which means that it's going to be incredibly difficult for Northern Colorado to try and play through if they put any sort of press on. Downside potentially, ball retention. We'll see how much of an issue that is, but a massive tackle. Javier Martin heel. McCain Clark is getting ready to come on as well, and he will do just that. Jake Keegan, his day is over. Clark trying to provide a spark from the bench. A bit of energy. Amadeen plays it back. That pass a bit heavy. Clark can get in there first. Both players diving in. And it spins kindly. Martin Heal. up against the six foot five horde wins the header he's now on the ball again good touch man what a header Garcia put his head in harm's way and actually will earn a free kick for him in his side Coming together, head injury will allow Garcia a moment to get some treatment. And Delgado will actually be booked for his frustrations there. The side get the free kick, but Delgado, the frustration boils over. His complaints lead to a booking. Another player booked for descent. Another look at this as Garcia just dives his head in. Yeah. That's a foul. Marty Smith on a yellow card already. Not sure if that itself is a yellow as well, but it definitely was a bit looser than you may want to see if you're Lee Weidman. Delgado, as mentioned, booked for his descent. It's been 30 minutes since Spokane last had a shot in this match. It doesn't matter. Over 40 minutes ago, they scored the most important one, or they had the most important shot of the game.
Home crowd trying to help see their side through it. Heel has a forward runner. He plays him. Smith cuts in front of himself. Massive challenge. Coming across was Fenwick. It's a goal kick. Made life uncomfortable for Kamarni Smith. And denied him his first goal for Spokane. Good ball by Luis Heel. You see Fenwick is coming across. May not have gotten a touch of it. Came in. See this home crowd. 509 Syndicate just trying to see this one through. Tall header. Kwakwa just puts that one forward. One for Clark to chase. A slip as he takes it. It'll be a throw. Tossed in. Robles brings it down. You saw what he was trying, trying to poke that one forward. Rancio going to force his opponents to press him. He picks it up. Three and a half minutes till we get through the 90. Question of how much stoppage time we'll see at the end of this one. Clark. Throw in one. Evans wins the header. Last touched Javier Martin Gil. Gil rather. Evans catapults this one. Horde. Great touch out of his feet. Oh, King just couldn't get that one to go into his stride. Astute defensive play from Spokane. Up and down the squad, holding this one through. Also, eFootball 2024 is here. You can live your dream, rep your team, and play as your favorite USL Championship club. eFootball is free to play. You can download it now. Brought down, Smith, big tackle by Rendon. He plays it up to Marky Hernandez. Rendon sprinting forward, trying to get some numbers in the attack. Hernandez, Fenwick. Oh, miscommunication between him and Clark. And Marancio will pick it up. Rendon, second to it. Heel wins it. Luis Heel in the box, cuts it back. Top of the 18, low, it's blocked. Shot there by Jack Denton. Kwakwa just kicks that out of play. Cameron Miller. He'll be coming on now in place of Luis Heel. That sub will be for the host, Spokane. Heel, the goal scorer. Coming off to applause. Cameron Miller, the Western Washington University trial before the season. He'll put on the captain's armband. 24 years of age, his second substitute appearance. be the captain as they see this one out just 15 seconds till we find out how much added time we have Metanair keeps it in play <sighs> massive swing of the ball by Evans take out his opposite number Javier Martin heel
See that number. Six minutes of added time. A lot of time for a lot of things to happen. Can Spokane get the insurance goal that will surely see them out with the three points? Can Northern Colorado steal it or will we end up where we are? Card for Marancio. It's time wasting. I think also a factor there might have been taking the ball away from the near touch line where the foul was, more infield. So Marancio has about run his to his limit in terms of time wasting he can do before pressing and getting sent off. Mentonair. Players just dueling for it. Ethan Horde pressing. Marancio. Evans pokes it down. Ball forward. Clark intercepts, pokes it. Robles. Rendon back. Clark. They play through the press quite well. Here's McCain Clark. Robles will give it back to Clark. Two and white against him. Out, goal kick. Six minutes of added time. We are currently two minutes through it. His goal kick brought down, scooped forward. Great work here. Javier Martin Hill into the 18, across goal. It's blocked. It'll spin back towards him. He'll let it roll out, throw in for his side. He did very well to just pick up the ball and just drive forward with it. Again, getting onto the ball, slides, drags it across. Onto the right, the shot goes over the goal. Andre Lewis saw a chance for back-to-back -back games with goals and could have seen this one out. See it again as this one's just blazed over the bar by Lewis. Throw in, Northern Colorado. Flicked on, Horde. Trying to get to it. Earns his side a corner kick. McCain Clark, a player to go over to take it. They won't throw everybody forward for this one, Northern Colorado won't. Delgado will sit back. Just about every outfield player in the Spokane box. Clark to the near post. It's blocked. Foot race to get there. Massive coming together. That's a free kick. He had to expect that going into that, knowing that he was going to get clattered. Brave. Heavy challenge by Kwakwa on Ahmed Longmire. He's back to his feet. Brave to get there, knowing the potential personal cost it could bring upon himself. It was a throw in in the end. No free kick was given. Enough of the ball was gotten. It was brought down by King. Was he fouled? The referee says yes, he was. Free kick now. Kwakwa rolls it out in front of himself. Numbers will go forward. Everyone for Spokane in and around the edge of the 18. Delgado just rolls it to Kwakwa. Plays this one in. 
Hernandez, he's on sides. Stands it up, back post, it's flicked on. Sits up, Fenwick. Shot goes wide. Johnny Fenwick had it sit up kindly for him. Would have been a challenging, ambitious goal, but he couldn't get his foot over it. Maybe bringing it down was the correct choice in the end, but you can hardly blame them. Just trying to get something. 30 seconds of the minimum remaining. We did have a brief pause after that big challenge. This one goes out. Throw in. Hernandez trying to take further liberties on where he can take the throw in from. Evans tosses it back in. Fenwick to Delgado. Garcia has space to carry it into. Goes long. Horde. The target. It's one. And it's brought in. Marancio, we've had the six. Throw in, Spokane. Kane Clark hooks it forward. Referee glances at his watch. Another glance, whistle to the mouth. And that does it. Spokane stays perfect at home. Their first clean sheet in the USL League One. Lee Weidman's side has three wins in a week. First half penalty from Luis Heal is enough. They see through it. A gutsy performance against Northern Colorado. And it finishes Spokane 1, Northern Colorado 0. What a match it turned out to be. Spokane sees this one out. Six points on the year now. Finishes it. 1-0 ahead of the hailstorm. We'll take a break, and after it, we'll show you those first full-time highlights and stats on the other side of this break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment. Spokane Professional Men's Soccer is here. Don't miss the historic first season in one Spokane stadium. Your Spokane Velocity FC take on Northern Colorado Hailstorm FC on Saturday, March 23rd, and Central Valley Fuego FC on Saturday, April 27th. Get your tickets now. Spokane is the home to the highest level of professional women's soccer in the country. Spokane Zephyr FC will play at one Spokane Stadium this August. Get your season tickets now. The winds of change are blowing. Be a part of history with your Zephyr FC. At Eastern Washington University, students and faculty work side by side to restore a lost prairie and decrease our carbon footprint. Composers are writing music to help us understand how salmon migrate. And urban and regional planning students partner with cities to gather the data they need to address homelessness interdisciplinary education that gets real about the real world. That's Eastern Washington University and you. Second home game of the season for Spokane Velocity. It ends in the same way. Celebrations, fans and players alike for the hosts. Spokane won. Northern Colorado nil. Took at our full-time highlights and see how they did it to stay perfect at home. Six points at home. Ball into the box here. Pierre Reedy was the threat all throughout the game on the right wing though was Metzenaer trying to keep things alive ball into the box here best chance of the game to this point was Pierre Reedy agonizingly putting that one wide of the goal dragging it just wide you're wondering what would happen and here is your play of the match from Luis Heel presented by Chorus Light just buries that one in the bottom left corner able to put that one away makes it one goal to nil in the first half and they almost were pegged immediately back with this long ball by Fenwick picked out Para his header just couldn't quite pick out the back of the net 
There were some opportunities. Big time tackle and big time save here on Jake Keegan's shot. There were threats from Northern Colorado, but in the end, defensively, very stout performance from Spokane. Your full-time stats brought to you here. One goal for Spokane, slightly outshot. Possession swinging their way just a little bit. A combative game, but in the end, the points had the way of Spokane in their first meeting of four games this season. And a thriller, this one, and it finishes. Spokane won, Northern Colorado nil. Well, for our entire broadcast crew, it's been a pleasure to bring you this one. I've been Jack Edwards. It was a just fantastic result for Spokane. Charlotte Independence on the road. Next up for Spokane. This is the last of March for Northern Colorado. Next up, Open Cup at Colorado Rapids. But full time from Spokane, Washington. Spokane won. Northern Colorado now. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League, League One, cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League, League One.